Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation Skill Series. And in this video and the few videos that follow, we're going to look at the VMware services that are available in the IBM Cloud. So if you're completely unfamiliar with VMware, well, it's a technology stack from a company which was uh, founded in 1999 and they rapidly grew into pretty much the de facto desktop and server virtualization technology company uh, on x86 platforms. So pretty much right before cloud became a standard for hosting in the IT industry, uh, as a precursor to that when companies ran services on their own data centers, uh, enterprises were busy virtualizing their workloads and using VMware uh, pretty much as a basis to do that. So if we go back to the mid, uh, mid to late 1990s, uh, workloads in the x86 world were pretty much being deployed on a one-to-one -one basis. So uh, one physical server would support pretty much one workload. Now that was pretty wasteful because uh, that one workload might only use a small percentage of the total capacity of the server. So while virtualization wasn't new, uh, the products that VMware introduced into the market meant that enterprises could reliably install hypervisors onto their servers and then run multiple operating system instances on a single machine. So this led to companies rationalizing uh, their server usage and saving an awful lot of money uh, and, and, and effort. Uh, and to this day, a lot of companies and large enterprises use VMware as a means to easily and uh, simply run and manage uh, virtual machines. Now IBM has been working closely in partnership with VMware for many years. Um, a lot of IBM's customers use VMware systems that, uh, that IBM have designed, deployed and actually managed for them. Uh, and in 2016, IBM and VMware announced a partnership uh, to actually bring VMware services to IBM Cloud. And this was the first um, such partnership with a major cloud vendor. So IBM uh, Cloud was the, the first to have any VMware services available. And uh, they were actually a good 18 months ahead in the market of, uh, of AWS, for example. Uh, and there's still a very close partnership uh, in developing the services uh, which obviously provides VMware users the ability uh, to actually port and use their services in the cloud. So this slide lists some of the reasons why VMware um, is, is popular and popular in the cloud. Uh, so I guess first of all it brings the economies of, um, of cloud to VMware. So there's no upfront cost for the hardware that's needed to run a VMware cluster. Um, you can run it for as short or uh, for as long a time period as you need it or actually want it. Uh, the environment is built for you uh, far more quickly than uh, than uh, could be achieved in house, uh, and IBM provides support for the hardware as well. Of course, linked into that will be the scalability and elasticity. So, if you need more more capacity for your VMware environment, it can quickly uh, be ordered and then available for use. And of course, you can then scale it back down again uh, if and when you need to do so. Uh, the cloud also offers more in the way of high availability because you can more easily build out clustered environments and of course uh, you can take advantage of highly available uh, underlying networking and storage systems as well uh, and plus you can build out stretch clusters so these are clusters that span zones in our multi-zone regions so think of a zone as a separate data center and we talked about these in the uh, virtual private cloud module and uh, Basically, these, uh, these, these clusters, uh, multi-zone clusters, are great for really critical workloads that need um, close to zero downtime. Bursting is also a great reason for using the cloud. So if you temporarily need additional capacity and can't meet that demand on premises, uh, then basically you can burst services out uh, into IBM Cloud uh, through uh, VMware HCX, for example. Now, the other great reason for using VMware is to uh, continue in an ongoing investment. So if you're an organization that has a history of using VMware, uh, you've basically got licenses and you have the skills in-house or you know, you've got skilled people that can run and manage VMware, then you can basically bring all that to the cloud as well. So without having to rework your environment or use another service. Now, there's a number of cool services that are available on IBM Cloud and they're pretty much outlined in this slide. So first of all, if you just want a server running ESXi, then you can provision a bare metal server in IBM Cloud with ESXi as the pre-installed operating system. From there, you can then start to create and actually host your, your virtual machines. Uh, we then have our dedicated solutions, and by dedicated, uh, what IBM Cloud means is that these are built on hardware which is dedicated to your account. So these are essentially 
private cloud systems based on VMware. So the first offering there is vCenter Server, and then we also have VMware vSphere, and we'll go into and, and have a slightly deeper look at the, the options for those and how to actually provision them in a following video. Uh, we then have um, a, a VMware solution shared offering, uh, and, and at the time that this video is being recorded, um, it's, it's actually a pretty new service, it's only a couple of months old. So this is based on um, shared infrastructure, and uh, what it provides you with is a VMware environment that's based on VMware vCloud Director. And again, I'll show, um, I'll show that to you in a bit more detail in a separate video. The other product there that I'll make you aware of is VMware HSX. So this uh, is, a, is a means to uh, easily move applications based on virtual machines between environments. So think of this as a way to move or, or migrate uh, virtual machines in a hybrid cloud environment where one part of that hybrid cloud is, is an on-premises VMware installation and the other end is a VMware solution running uh, in, in IBM Cloud. So effectively, we talk about having a, a hybrid cloud here, but of course it could also be uh, used as a means to permanently migrate your services to, to IBM Cloud as well. So VMware HSX um, is also something to, to, to be aware of. Uh, there are also a few ancillary, uh, but um, really important services that you should also be aware of that are available in IBM Cloud. Uh, and these are Veeam, uh, Zerto and Kvonix, and they, they're all, um, pretty much integrated into VMware and make up part of the VMware offering. Now, I'm not going to go into these in, in any great detail, um, but, a, but at a high level, the Veeam service enables you to back up and replicate virtual machines in a VMware environment. So it does that pretty much seamlessly and easily, and uh, this can actually be done in a variety of ways. Uh, Zerto assists with creating and managing disaster recovery environments for VMware. So if you have stringent DR targets for a VMware environment, then Zerto is a tool uh, that can really help you out there. And lastly, I've included Kvonix Risk Fort Site, uh, because a lot of large companies that use VMware also need a way to counter security risks as well as comply with regulatory and industry standards. And Kvonix is a service which provides a tool set in that particular area. So again, it's highly integrated with VMware and available through IBM Cloud. Now, I'm not going to say too much more about any of those services in these videos, but if you want more information, uh, then, then go and check out the documentation in IBM Cloud. Okay, well, that's it for this video. As I mentioned, uh, the next couple of videos are going to look at, uh, are going to look at VMware uh, dedicated and shared offerings in a bit more detail, a bit deeper uh, on the IBM Cloud. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks, as always, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.